Welcome back for another morning of fishing with Tom. Saturday morning, it's pretty good conditions. The water is absolutely milky. And let's go for some squid in some dirty water. So we're fishing in about 10 meters of water. It's a really low tide, the water is still coming out. I'm using my heavier jigs because I am in 10 meters. And there's a medium drift, medium breeze. Two rods out. Go for 40 gram tip run jigs. I've got a red and a lime. And just curious to see which one's going to hit first. Let's say the red one will. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go in nice, a bit more shallower. Just thinking maybe the shallow water might be slightly clearer because out here it's just milk, just, just like a milkshake. I've got a bit of weight on the end of this jig. I don't know if it, yeah, it's weed. So that's floating weed. I can see movement on the sounder. I didn't know it was a fish because there's a suspended weed in the water. It might be a tough day for calamari. It's a shame because I've got no bait. I better catch something because I can use it for bait. Got a few soft plastics. Always a, there's always a plan B. A few sticks of dynamite. Yeah, it's pretty tough going today. Hitting the bottom, I had one miss hit. Had to change the jigs a few times. But I'm going to stick to my grounds. Because there's got to be one or two. I'll try and convince them to come to the jig. I actually let them see it because it's yeah, dirty water, low tide. There's always some excuse for you not catching any. And when you do catch them, the only excuse to give yourself is pure, pure skill. Well, that's the bottom again. Uh. Right, so I've got a bit of weight here. I just hope it's a squid and not a lump of weed. It's not pulsating. Decent heavy. I'd say it's a cuttlefish, it's just a good weight too. Let's grab the landing net. I don't know. Ah, oh, false alarm. False alarm. Ooh. It's a good feeling I've got something at the end of the jig at least. I don't believe it. After four hours of trying, I got one. I'm not lying. It takes taken me four hours to catch one squid. <laughs> and I caught it on an old spot of mine right in close. Oh man, I don't know if I should throw him back or keep him. Because I wanted to use him for bait, but I'm just giving up. I want to go home. But that there, I'm going to keep. Right, so this spot here, the old spot on the old tingy, we're only in like five metres of water, produces. Get yourself a big boat and get and go yourself miles. You'll always catch it. <laughs> so I'll put another lighter jig. These these are these jigs are 23 grams. They're still considered heavy and deep. Five metres, got a medium drift pretty much the upper limit because if you're drifting too much and if the jigs are too light they'll just come to the surface and the calamari definitely uh, hug the bottom especially now it's sort of midday there's no chance that they'll be hanging around the top I really can't believe it hooked up onto another one yeah so that's great and these small ones, if I get a few more, I've got a really good recipe. And when all else fails, I always rely on this jig here. It's a clear bodied, it's called an injured whiting, Harimitsu. 
my favourite. My go-to jig on tough days, or even if I, even if I want to guarantee a squid, that jig always does it. Okay, on another one. The uh, fine spacer. There you go. So it's coming alive. I was just uh, letting it drift over, and like I'm really close in. So that's lesson learned. I should have known. When the water's dirty, going in as close as possible. There's probably less water, even though it's still going to be dirty. But there's less water for the um, squid to probably look through. I don't know. Just moved. So I've got my three calamari. All I want is maybe a one or two whiting. I'm even happy with a four man spare Monday. The reef, the reef rass. There we go. There we go. A little bit of weight. I reckon there's a butterfish. I oh, know. <laughs> I can't keep away from these pigs. First fish today. So a bit of bubble here. Oh, here you go. That's not bad. It's a uh, brown spotted wrasse. So I'm right over the reef at the moment. It's a bit small. I'll throw him back. Whoops. Yeah, a couple more whiting. That's terrific. Lovely. Don't know if I'm going to catch many of those because there's wind. I'm just drifting over the ground too quick. Can't be bothered anchoring because it's this wind is from the ocean. It's just going to get worse. That just proves if you go fishing, think you're going to catch your own bait. Look, for me, I've always done that and I've never had an issue. But today. I think I had about four or five hours, just no squid, no fish with the soft plastic. And I went out like, along the coast. Whew. A lot of hard work for three calamari, one whiting. If I get the three and three, I'll be a happy man. Oh, here you go. Didn't realise it was on. Now that can't be a whiting. It's got to be a butterfish or a wrasse. No, it's another snapper. Oh hell. I catch one big one and all of a sudden I become a snapping body pro professional. Uh, you can't steal my bait. Thank you. Alrighty. So you've seen it. Three calamari, one whiting, mate, for almost about six, seven hours of uh, fishing, um, I'm happy with calamari. Without further ado, let's go home for a cook-up, and I need a beverage. Time for the cook up. Yeah, believe it or not, I had to freeze these whole like that. And I've never done that before. I just didn't have time for that cook up that that dog did this. And I've just defrosted them and they look pretty good. Been told that if you do freeze them whole like that, um, the freezing process actually makes the squid nice and tender. Even though they're small, they're going to be tender as it is, but I'm really curious. So I quickly clean them up. Little twist and pull. 
I'm actually going to leave all the skin on because they're pretty small. It's not going to affect the flavour or the texture. Uh, there's the squid tubes right here. They're very small, nice and easy. Just going to salt them up. Now I've got leftover curry I cooked last night. It's got couscous and rice. It's got um, carrot, zucchini, mushrooms and onion. Shred it up, a bit of curry paste with curry spices and it's just absolutely beautiful. Mm. A bit of coconut milk too. Basically, I'm going to stuff it with, with the leftovers. Close it up, get the toothpick. That is beautiful. Usually with the stuff and mix you put egg in it to make it to make it um, nice and firm, but there's probably no need. Only got a small batch. You shouldn't fill them up too much. What I should have done is put that there. it up like that. There you go. That's better. There you have it. Stuffed squid. Now I'm going to cook them on the barbecue. It's going to make it really hot. I just need to pat dry this. Get rid of any moisture. Just going to rub some oil on here. It's not the cleanest barbie in the world, but as the fibre to it I reckon. Here we go. Let's tip these guys over. One thing I forgot to do was to actually um, poke holes in it. There you go. Alrighty. Ready. That's bigger. I'll leave that one there while this one's here sitting down. A little sprinkle of olive oil. Just a touch of pepper. I do apologise for my dirty apron, at least I'm making good use of it. Let's get into it. Now I'm not going to eat all these later on with the family, but I'll have this small one here. I'll have a taste of it anyway. The first thing to do, get rid of the toothpick. And I think I'll regret not putting egg in because it's going to just ooze out, but just cut it right. There you go, that's fine. I got all that plus the stuffing. It's gonna be hot. Mmm. Mmm. That's really nice. I probably should have put an egg in it because it has oozed out. And it was cold the stuffing, so it's got a warm calamari toasted grilled flavour, which is fantastic. Absolutely grilled to perfection. Mmm. One more shot. There you go. Calamari stuff with curry, rice, and, and um, couscous. Beautiful. Mm. 
Anyway, I better get out of here and digest. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And if you want to see more of this stuff, Donald Petit, we'll see you next time. Fish, Beauty. tucker, fish, tucker, fish, tucker, man. Fish, tucker, fish, tucker, the fish, tucker.